Hey guys, Smindley here, and today um, I'll be showing you guys a little bit of something that I've been working on. But before that, um, if you guys are not already subscribed, then please do so. But um, if you guys remember a little while ago um, on my channel, I posted about my first game, which was Cubic Rage, that I had a lot of fun with doing and then really wanted to get into more game development. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm creating a hunting game and, um, it's, it's been taking me a while. The, uh, main trouble for this was doing the map. So if we come out here and zoom out, um, it's a big map. Um, I'm actually modeling it after a real island. Um, it's Murray Isle. Um, I'm modeling it as close to this as I can get, but it's definitely not going to have the same amount of trees and stuff because I don't know how the game um, mechanics would react with that. Because, I mean, look at this. There's so many trees. Um, so that's been the hardest part to this. Um, this part right over here that, I'm, that I placed the character at, this is called Ice House Road. Um, I couldn't, uh, might be able to find a good picture for it. Hang on, let me see. Ice House Road. Oops, I don't know how to spell. Murray, New York. Um, let's see. Let's try this. Um, I do actually go up to the to Murray Isle over the summer. Um, great island. Alright, yeah, no, I can't find a good picture. Um, but basically what it is, it's a is it's a little road that runs right along through here. Um, I really have to shrink down the uh hills in the back. You can see them over here. Um, I stopped the recording and I actually went back through because I lost my train of thought. But um, the road runs um, by the red point. And it runs about through the center of the island. Um, so it would run about through the center. Um, you guys can't see my cursor, but it runs roughly through the center. And it goes up to the uh, island that says Wintergreen really should have turned my mouse on. It runs all the way through to that little cove. Um, it kind of cuts through. Um, but I will have to narrow down the uh, mountain size here. Um, but I have been, in order for me to tell like where I'm standing for it, um, I added in the player movement. Um, sprint hasn't been added yet, um, I have to work on that, but pretty nice. Um, what this would be is you would have this part here, and then right across probably here-ish. There would be a ditch, but since I didn't do it properly, there won't be a ditch, it'll just be, um, kind of flat, and then other mountains and other stuff go over there. There will also be a waterfall down that way, a little bit of a hill. So I got a lot of good ideas for this. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add in all the other, all, a bunch of other movement features. Um, and then that'll be how I can kind of figure out where I'm going for the whole map. But this, this is definitely not how big the hills are. This would be toned down a lot. It's in the editor. It's kind of hard to tell the height of it until you actually put the person down. I really should have put down the person first. And then once we get up here, I'm also going to have to make it so you can't actually climb up this kind of a mountain. Uh, you got the nice green grass. I'll actually be adding in like grass. This is just the color. 
Um, right now I'm a cylinder because I haven't made a player model yet. I may not, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then you got, once you come over this nice, nice, nice area. Um, uh, I have to make it a little bit flatter. Come over here. And you just got very nice planes. Crap, why can't I jump? There we go. Huh. When you go downhill, it doesn't register. Very peculiar. Um, and then over there, I'm still working. So that's currently where I stand for this. Um, I think that it'll be fun once it's basically done. Um, I am planning on putting it, making it, um, available for, uh, computer and mobile, and then putting it onto the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Play Store, and then I'll put it, I think it'll just be Play Store, and then I'll put out the build for anybody else, because I don't know how to put builds through, th um, for, uh, mobile, so I'll put the build for uh, uh, PC, and then for hunting, I gave it this nice kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, kind of camouflage-ish green to it, um, so yeah, and then I will keep you guys updated, but it's coming out pretty nice, I mean, I'm gonna work on this area, all those highlighted things, I'm gonna work on those more. And then I'm work on the other side. And then after that... Um, I think I'm gonna work, um, there's a hill that goes up to it over here. Work on over there a little bit. Um, my house should be, like, about here. I'll work on that area a bit more. And then over the summer I'll need to take more pictures and stuff to fully map this area out. Um, and then I'll be doing, not every house will have a 3D model, I'll do it to a lot of like the important landmarks that would be used. So like we have a post office here, um, there should be a house about there. My house would be here-ish. Um, one of my friend's houses would be here. And so yeah, I'll be doing that, basically. But, so yeah guys, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this little update. Oh, I, that doesn't work. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this little video on what I've been doing for the past month. And yeah, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.